usually when we are making ATP, O2 will go through your airway down into your alveoli and then the red blood cells inside the capillaries that are around your alveoli will take the O2 to the left side of your heart and then the left side of your heart will pump it to the rest of your body. I'm talking about the O2 right now. The, the left side of your heart will pump the O2 via the red blood cells to your body and then it will make its way into the cells. The oxygen will, right? The O2 that came in will eventually make itself to the cells of the body where it will meet glucose. Glucose is originally a six carbon molecule that goes into the cell. And then ATP is made efficiently. A lot of it is made um, with O2 and glucose. That's what's called aerobic metabolism. Um, well, anyways, after the O2 meets with the glucose, it will go into the Krebs cycle. And this, this is actually really where O2 comes into play, to be honest with you. I say it meets in the cell, but what happens is that the glucose molecule, the, the six carbon molecule, goes into the cell and then it gets split in half. And now you have two, three carbon molecules, uh, which are called pyruvates, right? And then these go into the curb cycle individually. So these go, this one goes into its own curb cycle. This one will go into its own curb cycle. And this is really where O2 comes into play and ATP is produced. A lot of it. I mean, Krebs cycle. It's called the Krebs cycle. I always get that wrong. Well, if for some reason, let's say you, uh, you have an obstruction in your airway, air can't get in, or your heart's not pumping right, or your vessels are not intact, there's a big cut, blood's coming out, and one of these um, issues is preventing O2 from getting to the cell. Well, what happens then is that the glucose is still going to be in the cell, right? And it's still going to split. The splitting, the, the splitting of the six carbon molecule is called glycolysis. Um, and that just means that you're splitting a glucose molecule. That's all that word means. Well, when, you, when this six carbon molecule splits into two three carbon molecules this itself it's actually it's it's a step 10 step process so for this six carbon molecule to split into two three carbon molecule it's actually a, a 10 step process that's what i'm saying right now right well, in this process, ATP is actually created. So you don't need oxygen in the mix to make ATP. However, this, ener this type of energy production, which is called anaerobic metabolism, because it's ana meaning without, without oxygen. So you're making energy without oxygen. It's not efficient. Now, this energy that you're making here, or stored energy, it's enough to keep you alive for a very short period of time until the issue is corrected. It's like a backup generator, but it's not gonna keep life. It's not gonna keep um, you alive for a very long period of time. You need O2 to go into the Krebs cycle and produce the adequate amount of ATP to keep you alive. This video was just to kind of show you um, what anaerobic metabolism is. It's really just making energy without oxygen, only glucose by itself, it's splitting, um, as easy as that. And just don't forget that ana means without, aerobic, we're talking about oxygen, metabolism is a production of stored energy, ATP, adenosine triphosphate, and we're not making enough ATP, but we still are making ATP without oxygen. Alright, um, catch you guys later, bye.